Hello everybody, today we're going to read Wells, the Gentle Giants. I'm sorry, the lighting is terrible. I, you can see shadows. I don't know what to do about it, but Wells, the Gentle Giants. It's a step three step in a reading book, so that means it is AR testable. So you can listen to this book and go take your AR test to school, get some points, get your rewards, whatever you guys get in your school. Here we go. Hundreds of years ago, people believed in sea monsters, all kinds of sea monsters. What do we got here? Oh goodness, I don't even know. This looks like a dragon, a whale with two holes, <laughs> uh, something, I'm not sure. There's a squid, we know that's a squid. Some type of horse mermaid, I'm not sure. Interesting. One story was told about a man named Brendan. Brendan and all his friends went to the sea in a small boat. They sailed and sailed. Soon, they were lost. At last, they saw an island. We are saved, cried Brendan. Let's land right away. We will give thanks to God. Brendan and his friends started to pray. Suddenly, the island began to move. It was alive. Was it a sea monster? No. The men were standing on the back of a whale. They were so scared, they jumped back into their boat, and off they went as fast as they could. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's kind of funny, huh? Oh, I skipped a page. Maybe not. Yes, we did. Is this a true story? Probably not. But some whales are as big as small islands. The blue whale is the biggest whale of all. Wow, I could it next to an elephant. The blue whale is also the biggest animal in the world. A baby blue whale is even bigger than an elephant. Oh yeah, there's the baby elephant. And I'm guessing this is mama. It doesn't even fit in the camera. It's so big. That is a big whale. There are about 75 different kinds of whales. I did not know that. The sperm whale has a huge head. The male narwhal has one long twisted tooth. Sometimes this tooth grows to be up to 10 feet long. The pygmy sperm whale is one of the smallest whales. It is about the size of a canoe. That's interesting, but that's still pretty big. Yeah, that is pretty big. People used to think that whales were a kind of fish, but a whale is not a fish. It cannot stay underwater all the time. That's interesting. See guys, we're learning. I did not know that. <laughs> a whale breathes through the hole in its head and that is called a blowhole. When a whale dives, it holds its breath, and when it comes up, it breathes out. A big spout of spray comes out of its blowhole. Up it goes, high in the air. There's the blowhole. That is interesting. A whale is a mammal, just like a dog, just like a cat, and just like you. A baby mammal grows inside of its mother's body. This baby gray whale has just been born. Its mother and another whale quickly push the baby to the top of the water. They are helping the little whale take its first breath of air. Uh -oh. The baby whale is called a calf. It drinks its mother's milk just as a human baby does. It weighs about 2,000 pounds, but to its mother, it is still just her little baby. So sweet. Usually whales are gentle, but not always. The mother gray whale will fight anything that tries to hurt her calf. As mama should do, right? This whale calf cannot swim very fast. A big hungry shark is watching. It is waiting for a chance to attack. But the mother whale is keeping watch too. When she sees the shark, she rushes straight at it. Gotta protect her baby, right? Other whales come to help. They swim between the shark and the baby. They are too big for the shark to attack. The shark is not very smart. <laughs> Soon it is all mixed up and it gives in and swims away. Then the calf is safe. All winter long, the baby gray whale swims and plays in the warm water right off the coast of Mexico. But when spring comes, the gray whales are on the move. They will swim all the way to cold Arctic water. Even the baby whale will make the long trip. They swim all day and all night, but sometimes even a whale gets tired. 
When the whales are sleepy, they lie on top of the water and take a nap. After their long trip, the gray whales are very hungry. The cold water is filled with their favorite food, tiny sea animals. So small, you would not think that they could feed a whale, but they do. The whales open their mouth wide and slurp. They take in lots of water and lots of tiny sea animals too. Like many whales, the gray whale has no teeth. Instead, it has baleen. The baleens grow in long strips. It works like a long strainer. When a whale spits out a mouthful of water, lots of the tiny sea animals stay caught in its baleen. That's interesting. They will be the whale's dinner. Okay, this must be, this is the baleen. So they squirrelurp up lots of stuff and then they spit out the water and the food stays in their mouth just like a strainer. Like I said, that's pretty cool. People did not always know that whales make sounds. Sailors in submarines used to hear strange things. Clickety click, crack. The noises sounded like music from outer space. The sailors were surprised to learn that all those sounds were made by whales. Humpback whales make the strangest sounds of all. They seem to be singing. Humpbacks are a funny looking whale. <laughs> Their heads are covered with bumps, but the songs they sing are beautiful. Scientists have even recorded the songs of the humpback whales. What do the songs mean? So far, scientists are not sure. The most beautiful whale is the black and white orca. The orca does not have baleen. It has real teeth, big ones. The orca hunts big fish. It hunts seals too. It even hunts other whales. Orcas are also called killer whales. Sailors used to be afraid of them. Today, we know that orcas can become very tame. Orcas are the stars of many aquarium shows. They like to be petted. They love to do tricks. Orcas are very smart. Sometimes they even make up tricks and teach them to their trainers. Wow, what a smart whale. Orcas do not hunt people, but for many years people hunted whales. Why? Mostly, they wanted the whale's blubber. Blubber is a kind of thick fat that can be made into oil. Years ago, whale oil was burned in lamps, and that's how people lit their houses. Ships spent many months at sea looking for whales. The hunters searched for whales in the cold seas of the far north. Sometimes the ships got stuck in the ice, and some never returned. Hunting whales was dangerous work. When they found a whale, the hunters chased it in small boats. They threw long spears, called harpoons, into the whale's back. The whale fought hard to get away. Oh, I would too. That would hurt. A frightened whale could overturn a boat. They are huge. So many whales were killed that few were left. People started to worry about saving the whales. Laws were passed to protect whales. Today, most people who follow whales only want to watch them. Scientists watch whales to learn about their lives in the sea. Whale watching is also fun. Whales seem to like watching people, too. They will swim and play around a boat for a long time. If you go whale watching, you might even see a whale jump high in the air. Why do whales jump? No one knows. Maybe they jump just because it feels so good to be a whale. So cute. And again, guys, this was whales, the gentle giants. Step three, AR testable. So now that we read the book together, you can go take your AR test on it.